Hello everyone, so this is me and Voro, and we're gonna do the CPFO Season 11 Prediction Power Ranking. So we're basically just gonna, we're gonna say our power rankings, which is only our predictions though, from all of our just knowledge and just opinions about each team, and I'll start off first. So, uh, we're gonna work it from worst to best, so starting off, at 8th place I have Squadron 6, alright, uh, I'll explain later in detail after the power rankings. Um, Elite Outlaws will be in my 7th place, alright, those two teams, they're kinda, you know, close together, uh, in my opinion, um, I, I know that Elite Outlaws is a new team, Squadron 6 is kind of, uh, you know, they've been in the scene for a little bit, um, but I haven't seen much, uh, from them yet. Number 6 will be Hydra, um, Hydra is also a really good team, uh, I'm just gonna put them above Elite Outlaws and Squadron 6, I'll explain that later also. Um, number 5th place is Pretty Accurate Strong Simps, also known as Pass. Number 4th place will be Azura, also known as AZ. Number 3 on my list will be Pravida Union, also known as PVD. Number 2 on my list will be Spectral Garrison, also known as SG. And then number 1 on my list for my power rankings will be Chaos Gaming, also known as Chaos. Now I know what you guys are wondering, um, why put Chaos Gaming at first? Uh, Chaos has a stacked roster, but you know, also SG and PvD do too. But I know that Chaos is coming back into the season with the Vengeance, you know? I, I, I think they're very hungry uh, to win it all this season, and most of their players, they're filled with runner-ups that lost their grand finals. That was uh, about like a week ago or two weeks ago. And I believe that they're gonna work harder uh, than everyone else in the league um, to win it all this season. Why? Why isn't AZ, PVD, or SG? You know, why aren't they number one? And in my opinion, they all have very good tier one players. Okay, they all do. Each of them all do. And you know, I'm I'm very excited to watch watch these top four teams play against each other, man. It's gonna be just a super awesome match to watch. Um, I believe that these teams they're very close in skill. These top four teams. But you know, this is all just from my you know previous research and just opinions and experience on them so I could be really wrong here last thing why is squadron 6 last place now now I can kind of see them competing against Hydra or pass or elite outlaws um, but you know with those teams they actually do have some good players but you know with squadron 6 I feel like they're just still they are still a learning team and looking at the roster I just don't see them beating any one of these teams in the league Unless a team is just missing their good players and, you know, for example, if, uh, if Elite Outlaw just doesn't have defense, um, you know, I can see Squadron 6 winning that match. If Pass doesn't have Forest Fire or Big Daddy Toes or just whoever's on Pass, I, I still see them, I still see Squadron 6 winning. It's not, it's not because Squadron 6 is bad, I just feel like, you know, uh, all these teams are just, you know, better than them. But, you know, I, I want them to prove me wrong, okay, I still have faith in Squadron 6, I still have faith in every team in this league, just at the same as everyone um, in this season. Now let's uh, let's hear Voro out and let's uh, let's hear his power ranking. All right, so my power rankings are in the eighth place, taking pretty accurate strong simps. Seventh, Squadron Six. Sixth place, going with Elite Outlaws. Fifth, Azura, and fourth, Hydra. Third place. Going over with Spectral Garrison. Second, Chaos. And the first place goes to Pravda. So, why did I put Pravda in the first place? Um, first of all, I've been playing with those players together in the same team and all their potential and my experience with them. Also, seeing them come back after that one season gap, I can tell that they're coming after the win with this roster, which includes some of the previous Vortex and Zerenity, Zen Serenity top players. The reason why I put Hydra above some of the known players in these new teams is because I think the previously representing DB team is going to surprise some of the teams that I've placed underneath and above Hydra. So I hope to see them adapt the extremely aggressive playstyle and fan forces, which some of the teams probably won't expect. If these guys can apply their previous game style by being fast and so to say in your face. I think we'll witness this team obliterate the others. Um, why I chose pass for the last place? I mean, it's not that they're bad, there's just teams currently, in my opinion, better than them. But they still have a lot to prove and their position can still change in the power rankings if they're proof so. Uh, that's, uh, that's all of our power rankings uh, today. 
Um, remember, these are predictions, okay? So, you know, we could be wrong. We could be super wrong, all right? Don't, don't just, uh, don't try to, you know, believe this as, like, you know, a natural, super serious thing, okay? These are not facts. Um, they are just opinions. So, um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Um, comment down below what your power rankings is, and, um, I'm gonna be streaming this, uh, today, in this video in, like, in a few hours before, uh, before matches start, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and yeah.